Welcome to the recitation for Bioengineering 2020. We're going to take a look at backward substitution and then get into the pseudocode for backward substitution. But first we're going to solve this system of three equations and three unknowns by hand and see how that applies to the algorithm. So let's go through this. Remember we wanted a triangular form for our solution to start our backward substitution. So we start with this last equation first with only one unknown and then we roll that up to the next equation and solve for just one variable. We roll these two unknowns up that are now solved and solve for the last one. So, so we start from the bottom first. 2x sub 3 equals minus 4. So x sub 3 equals minus 4 over 2 equals minus 2. It's our first solution. We roll that up into the second equation and we solve for x sub 2. Minus 4 x sub 2 plus, now we have x sub 3 here, substitute that in, equals 2. So x sub 2 equals 2 minus a minus 2 over 4. So x sub 2 equals minus 1. It's our second solution. Solves that equation. Now we take those two um, knowns, put them in for x2 and x3 up, um, on the first equation, and solve for x1. So x1 now plus 2x2 two two minus 1 plus a minus 2 equals 5. So now we have x1 equals 5 plus 2 plus 2 equals 9. So there are three solutions for these three unknowns in this system of equations. Now before we get into the pseudocode, let's remember what form this takes. The general form this takes is of the form ax equals b. And for this one, we can say a11x1 plus a12 x2 plus a13 x3 equals b1. For the second row, we have a22 x2 plus a23 x3 equals b2. And the last row, a33 x3 oops, equals b3. So that's our general form, and that will help um, help us look at the pseudocode. Okay, here's our pseudocode. And I took this from the book, um, page 254, figure 4b. So for our example, we know n equals 3. We have three equations, three unknowns. We have to have a square matrix, n equals 3. Um, the pseudocode, this first line, let me um, just explain at a high level what's going on. This first line is just like solving this last equation. Um, so this is the, the last equation first solution, just like we started off by hand. Um, the I loop is going to step us through, um, actually back, 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 it's going to step us through the rows. So through these equations. The J loop is going to step us within a row, it's going to step us through the columns. And this last line of the pseudocode is going to be the solution, and it's on the diagonal term. So this is a diagonal term. We know that because a i i that's always going to be a three three a two two a one one. It's going to be right here. 
So you're going to be on the diagonal, um, and that's where um, we're going to use the constant, subtract the sum, what we um, calculated prior to the diagonal, and divide by um, the diagonal's coefficient. So that's, that's what's happening in that line. Okay, so let's go step by step through the code to solve our system of equations and make sure it works and make sure it, it makes sense. So we know n equals 3. So this first line is x sub 3 equals b sub 3 over a 3, 3, right here. Um, so that is b sub 3 is minus 4 a sub 3, 3 is 2, x sub 3 is minus 2. Our first solution, just like our first solution by hand. Now we get into the um, loops. i equals n is 3, 3 minus 1 is 2, so our current i is 2. We're going to go to 1 with negative one steps. So we'll, we'll do this one more time. Set sum equals zero. And now we'll step into the um, j loop. j is going to be i plus one. i is set to two right now. Two plus one equals three. And that's going to go to n of three. <coughs> So we'll do this one time, the J loop. So now we're going to set sum equals sum, um, sum is 0 plus a i j, a 2 3, x 3. So we're right um, here, corresponding to here, and a 2 3 is 1. 0 plus 1 times x3 is def uh, we calculated above as minus 2. So sum equals minus 2. Now we pop out and we do this diagonal term. x sub i, we're at 2, equals b sub 2 minus sum over the diagonal term, a2, 2. So that is b sub 2, 2, minus sum, we have minus 2, and a sub 2, 2, right there, is minus 4. So x sub 2 equals minus 1. That's our second solution for our system of equations, just like by hand, our second solution. OK, so we've gone through j the, the one time. Um, i is set to 2. Now i gets set to uh, 2 minus 1 is 1. And we're going to 1, so there, we're, we're only going to do this one more time. So i of 1, we reset sum to 0. j gets set to i plus 1. 1 plus 1 is 2. and goes to n, 3. So we will do this loop two times. Sum now gets set to 0 sum plus a i j is now a 1 2 x sub 2. So that's 0 plus a 1 2. This term right here, this term right here for us. a 1 2 is 2. Times x sub 2, we calculated up here as a negative 1. So sum right now is set to minus 2. We go back through, and j gets set to, it gets incremented. 2 plus 1 is 3. And we go to 3, so this will be the last time through this loop. 
So right now our i is still 1, our j is 3. The sum equals sum, which is now negative 2, plus a, 1, 3, x, 3. So that's minus 2, a, 1, 3, that's this term right here. a, 1, 3 is 1 for us, uh, plus 1 times x sub 3 is defined up here as minus 2. So sum right here is now a minus 4. Okay. So we're at the end of our j's. We pop out and do our diagonal term. x sub i is i is set to 1, x sub 1, equals b sub 1 minus sum over a sub 1, 1 on the diagonal. So b sub 1 is 5 minus sum, we calculate it as minus 4, and a sub 1, 1, this term is 1. So x sub 1 is minus 9, oh, plus 9. And that's our third solution. So the, and I'll show you, our, our solution by hand was 9. So that's the pseudocode. Um, and the steps, stepping through the pseudocode, I hope that helps um, make the connection between how to do backward substitution by hand and the algorithm, and hopefully makes it um, the code a little more approachable.